Hello, everybody. We are doing our next math lesson, Unit 7, Lesson 8. Uh, before we get into it, I want to make sure we're going to read our goal. Uh, it is, we can read it all together at I Can Build. Ready? I Can Build, Draw, Name, Describe, Sort, and Classify Polygons by Their Characteristics. So it's all about geometry again. Um, biggest word is classify. Remember, classify means to group. It's all about grouping. And we use those characteristics, so things like sides, vertices, angles, and lengths to help us describe and put these different polygons, a mini-sided shape, into those groups. So, uh, just I know I know I keep doing this, but just to keep helping us, just keep make sure we're growing with this. I'm going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just gonna make sure though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six sides. My vertices or vertex are those corners where two lines meet and come together to make a point. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six vertices. Let's count those angles as well. Remember, an angle is kind of the, like how f the, the me it's like the measure or distance between one line to the other, like how far apart those two lines are. Um, so that's one angle there, two angles, three angles. Even though this is a really big one, that's an angle. Four, five, six. Yep. And six angles. Okay. All those things work. Six, six, six. Like this. So six sides, six vertices, six angles. Um, Oh, what shape is that? What shape is that? Say it, say it, say, say it to your iPad. It is a hexagon. Um, there you go. So that's a hexagon. But basically, that's what we do. We we classify, we put sh polygons or shapes into their groups using those characteristics. Now, um, just as you, as you recall, as I've been talking about, um, you could totally get the choice of how you want to do these math lessons. Um, you can either watch all of it, all the videos all at once and then do the sheets or you can watch a video and then do a sheet Then watch a video do the sheet and watch the video do the sheet now for today. We are going to be doing three sheets. We're going to be doing page 471 page 472 and page 473 so totally your choice of what's going to make more sense to you. Now, this lesson, though, is going to be a little bit different. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain each page. And then after I'm done explaining the page, and I'll kind of walk you through it, then I, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to want you to go then and go ahead and do the sheet as best as you can. Go, going through um, and trying to match all the characteristics or the ways to describe I shouldn't say using the characteristics to try to put these shapes into groups. Then when you're done, you can come back and then watch the video again just to check to see how you did against mine and kind of my thinking. So at the top of page 471, you're going to see the directions. Place a check mark beside every name that describes the figure. Okay. Well, so I'm going to look at this. Um, this is all about... Um, vocabulary. You're going to see every single shape on this page has the same five words. Quadrilateral, parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, square. I'm going to leave those four words there and I'm just going to review what those mean. So quadrilateral means four-sided shape. So that is a quadrilateral. A parallelogram, two pairs of parallel lines, lines that never touch. That's a parallelogram. A rhombus has four equal sides and four and opposite angles 
equal it's a rhombus rectangle when it has four sides four oh, right angles in a square the last one four equal sides and four right angles. Now, so this video hopefully will be able to help you. Um, if you ever need to come back and relook at any of these, please do. Just to help, kind of help you remember what all these different um, vocabulary words mean. So, now looking at this shape, I'm going to then try to figure out, okay, which of these words match this? So quadrilateral, it's a four-sided shape. Well, yeah, it's a four-sided shape because I can count it. I can even just double check. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, is it a parallelogram? It has two pairs of parallel lines. Let's see here. And I'm going to uh, get rid of those extra little lines there just to make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so the top and the bottom. Yes, parallel. So that's one pair. Left side, right side, parallel. Yes, it has two pairs of parallel lines. That totally works. So I can check it. Is it a rhombus? Okay, so rhombuses have four equal sides. Oh. And they have opposite angles equal. All right, when I look, I'm trying to eyeball it. That looks pretty equal to me. Those four sides, I could get a, measure, a ruler to measure it. That looks really good to me. I'm going to say yes. They do have four equal sides and opposite angles equal. Well, it does look like... Yeah, it looks like that 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 angle. Yeah, those two look pretty much the same. And that one and that looks the same. Yes. So I would say yes, this is a rhombus. So cool. Is it a rectangle? Let's see. Four sides. Yep, four sides. Four right angles. Ooh. That is not a book corner. I could not fit a book corner into that. And a book corner could fit in that, but it wouldn't fit per perfectly. Those are not right angles. It's not a rectangle. Is it a square? Four equal sides. Ooh, yes. Four equal sides. That's why it's a rhombus. Four right angles, though. No, not right angles. So those are the, th those are the checks for that one. So that's what you're going to do for each of these shapes. I am gonna, just going to stop the video here because I want you to go and do this sheet by yourself. When you're done, you're going to watch the next video, which is me going through each of these, kind of just talking about um, why they are what they are. Have fun.